Welcome back to another episode in our Green Thumb Gardening Secrets video series. Today we're going to demonstrate some alternative options for storing garlic if you don't want to braid it. Those options mostly include bunching, bagging, and freezing. If you didn't want to braid it, but want to keep it attached to the stalks, one of the favorite options is just to bunch it up, tie it, and hang that bunch up somewhere. The only problem is you have all these unruly tops then that will break off and fall off all over the place. That's why we prefer to braid it. Another option if you don't want to use a braid is simply cut the bulbs off the stalks and then often cut off the roots too. It just makes it a little bit easier. And shove the bulbs in an old orange sack or something similar. Just something that breathes nicely so you can keep them well aired out. And then hang the sacks somewhere handy. An alternative to this if you don't have that many is to just leave them unbagged around your kitchen. But then where's the best place to store it once you have it bunched, bagged, or just lying around? Luckily, your best place to store them is right in the kitchen. Garlic stores best between 32 and 35 degrees and between 55 and 65 degrees. And about 40 to 60 percent humidity. 55 to 65 degrees might be a little bit colder than your kitchen, but it's pretty close. And the 40 to 60 percent humidity, that's right about where most people keep their houses. So right next to, right on hand, right next to where you're cooking is one of your best places for storage. And what's even better is garlic that is stored in 32 to 35 degrees, it sprouts almost immediately once taken out of that temperature. And garlic stored between 55 and 65 stays dormant. It just keeps on slowly approaching that sprouting stage. But what if one were to want even longer term storage? First, remove all the ball wrapper. There's a trick here that pretty much just involves cutting the ball in half and then crushing the balls a little bit to, to loosen the wrappers. I found even if you just have individual balls, you just crush them a little bit, the wrappers come off a lot more easily. But then cut them up or even better, put them in a Cuisinart to make the whole process a lot faster. Place them into ice cube trays, cover them with olive oil, put them in the freezer. Once they're frozen into little cubes, pop them out of the trays, put them in a bag, and put that bag back in the freezer. Or just keep it in olive oil in a jar in the fridge. That's it for this episode. Until next time, stay open to growing. And as always, check out our Twitter and Instagram. By the same token, check out our website for much more information on all of these topics.